Hello out there and welcome to Illus YouTube Plays. We're here with Firmament, which is a new game. It's on Steam and full disclosure, I did receive my copy of the game for free and we're going to play. Hold up. Right, so the only thing I know about Firmament is that it's by the same developer who made Mist, which is a game that I played back in the 90s, which is a time that I was alive in because I'm old. So, uh... We're going to see what this is like. Mist was super weird and um, kind of esoteric. You know, like one of the first walking simulators with some puzzling and stuff. Um, it was very... Uh, and it was the 90s, so the only way to figure out how to beat it was to just figure out how to beat it. You couldn't just look up a walkthrough or anything like that. Um, so I'm excited to play Firmament. I'm hoping that uh, it's good. So far, it's, it's done a bit of lagging on all the uh, the loading screens, but that's okay. I don't mind that. We might fast forward, though, while it's loading. Okay. Oh. That's very laggy, isn't it? So, here we are. Finally. Your first breath, and I have taken my last. But uh, who cares, right? Uh, there's so much to be done. I'm dead, but you have so much to learn. I once woke up just as you have. A blank mind, a clean canvas. Confused, yes, but I will teach you just as I was taught. And so, first lesson, you are a keeper. I was a keeper, we were all keepers. Second lesson. I will lie to you. I learned much later that this is the way to keep the rounds. And third lesson, this machine, is your adjunct, your tool to learn and to keep the rounds. Take it and we will begin. The firmament, it is remarkable that we are here. Okay. Um. Interesting. Uh, the the voice syncing and stuff was really weird. It almost would have been better if she was just like mentally projecting it to me. I like the voice acting though. The voice acting was really cool. Um, I like this coffin thing. Super steampunky. Got some spines and a brain. Something flashing here. What is this? Personal maintenance adjunct. As a newly awakened keeper of the firmament mission, you have been assigned a personal maintenance adjunct, which can be informally referred to as an adjunct. The adjunct is a miracle of modern mechanics and electronics, augmenting the keeper's abilities in marvelous ways. Your tasks while keeping would normally require keys, tools, and extreme strength to both access and control various aspects of the realms. The adjunct serves as both a key and a tool and amplifies your abilities. It can access approved areas of the realms, and it can control the equipment and devices, both large and small, that you will use regularly. It's designed to interface with a socket, a receiving component, with, with the, uh, which the adjunct can attach to, giving the keeper access and control. These sockets are ubiquitous in the realms, and all they may appear physically similar to each other, they provide vastly different, uh, diverse abilities. Okay? Um, to a socket, by, both close and far, providing for control from a distance. A communicating leash or tether prov provides for constant control and feedback while your adjunct is socketed. To operate the adjunct, first place the adjunct gauntlet on your hand. You can then direct and propel the forward element at the desired socket. With the forward element firmly socketed, you can activate and control the equipment. The specific aspects of the equipment are viewed by the keeper through a view veil on the gauntlet. Twisting the gauntlet left or right will activate specific controls. Okay. So there's a lot of reading here. That's all right. Um, what I might do is uh, fast forward a little bit um, while I'm reading all this, and we'll, we'll get to it. Okay, so here's our first opportunity to use the adjunct. 
Hold on. Uh, okay. Right, so he opened the door. I will go down in history as the man who opened the door. All right, is there anything in here to look at? All right, we can close the door. Okay, the the door thing's a bit weird. We can't. So it's that same notebook. Medical physiology. Okay, not much is interactable. I mean, I I like it. It looks cool, but I'm just gonna just gonna turn it up a little bit because it's a bit of a quiet game. It's one of those where it's probably super loud when it is loud. I'm just trying to, so we can't jump or anything. So it's all about using the, okay, we can't, we can only go the one way. Got it. Ooh, it's very, it's beautiful, no? It is pretty beautiful, I guess. The majesty and peace of the ice and stone. I didn't emerge from the threshold here as you did. I awoke at this one. My first journey to this realm. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Why am I opening the menu? Okay. You have small stinging all over. It's normal. And your hearing. Ah, maybe only the alarms. Or your own heartbeat. Now, these effects will cease in time. As your body becomes accustomed to the heat. We will have these problems when we emerge from the threshold. You will live. And that is a good thing. Okay. I will live, and that is a good thing. It's quite pretty. Um, I like the voice acting. The voice acting is solid. So far, we haven't really been challenged much. Mist is uh, much more... The adjunct is oh. making sense to you? Yeah. So if not, no worries. It will soon be as natural as your hand. Keep trying. I mean... And this... One-sided prose is strange, is it not? <laughs> I feel like a performer, huh? but this is where we are. Can I climb, or? I had a most wonderful mentor. Oh, there we go. She taught me all these realms. I will teach you. But... Then, Tenner arrived, also. And, well, he first taught me beyond these realms. I will teach you that as well. So, this realm is the source of our water. And you will learn what must be done by doing all that we need. I will help, but I will not hold your hand. It's better to learn by contemplating, failing, hopefully understanding. We thought we understood. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know why I'm controlling this. Yeah. Well, we can we'll we'll do what we can do. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I really don't understand what what we're doing here. Okay. So we drove that away for whatever reason. Can we can we raise this now? I don't... Okay. 
Alright, so we moved it out of the way. Now what? I don't, I, now we're now we're sol we're doing some puzzle solving team. We are doing some puzzle solving. Okay. Yeah, well, let's bring it back because obviously it's meant to do something. Here we go. Okay, and then if we drop it down. Uh, I see. Okay, I don't... I don't really get it, but that's okay. We will solve it, and I will, I will, I guess, I don't know, fast forward till we solve this. Why does it not raise both, both sides of the bridge? Because of video games, I guess. We can't fall off. I, try, I was trying to jump off there. Um. Yeah, we can't. Right, so... I'm a big idiot here because I don't understand what it is that we're supposed to be doing. Um, maybe... Oh, I think maybe? Oh, I don't know. I'm... I'm Maybe I figured this out. I don't know. Maybe there's a path. I said I was going to fast forward, but I don't... I didn't. I lied. I was lying to you guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to lie. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I wanted to drive it that way. To the, to the other edge over there. All the way to the back. Okay, then I'll lower it, and maybe I can walk across it or something? I don't know. Oh, where's it going? What is it doing? Oh, it grabbed a bunch of ice. Uh, okay. Weird, but okay. Is that how I get across? Is that is that gonna work? Okay. Well, let's go try it anyway. We will see if it works. Cause you can't jump, so if it doesn't work, we'll have to come. We'll have to walk all the way back over here. Hmm. Is there a way to get out there? Yeah, here we go. Cool. Hey! We made it across. Okay. My guess is we're gonna need that block of ice as well. Oh no. Um So now we've raised the bridge. I think this I think the ice we're gonna yeah, we're gonna need it again. So we'll raise it all the way up. I like that we're picking up ice, that's cool. Alright, and then now we're gonna drive it this way. Oh, it raised both of the things. Of course it did. Why would it have not? Have not? Oh my god. That's pretty annoying. I was thinking. I, I was thinking it was needed over there, but it, apparently it's not. Ah. Uh, okay. I, I will fast forward because that's obviously not what we're supposed to do. I thought we would need it again, because it just seemed reasonable, but yeah, apparently it's not.
And this, uh, this pad will convey you to this one where I once lived with my comrades. Go when you like, you can return here. Okay, so telling me that I can come back here in case I want to. Love it. Okay, but we can't, we can't get the ice. Oh, we can, we can just control that from here. That's cool. We don't need the ice for this one. Fair enough. Okay, so this part hasn't been unlocked yet. We're just experiencing a beautiful vista. All right, we'll go in there. Um, energize. What? What, is, what does the energize do? You will not be able to witness the wonder of the other realms, but you will transit to this one first. Okay, I'm ready. I like these little shafts of light, that's pretty cool. Swan Soiree. Alright. Oh. That's pretty. That's very pretty. To the swan, where we gathered, talked, sang, learned, each, laughed. Shared my memories of this place so vivid, so wonderful, so peaceful, till it was shattered. The lies are controlling, but comforting. All right, what's this? Personal maintenance adjunct. Is this the same thing? Um, this is the same thing. Okay. Right, we already read that. What is this thing? That's cool. Man, there's a lot of uh, stuff in here. Cool, cool. Very steampunky. Um, let's go exploring first. Oh. What is all this? Hmm. The only difference between a heresy and the truth is time. <laughs> I wonder, do you agree? I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. Maybe not. What's in here? Oh, these are all the different... Jeez. Yeah, I really like the voice acting. The voice acting is solid, man. Um... So, I guess we just go into one of these places. I don't know which one. Let's go, we'll choose this one, I guess. Uh, next, previous. I mean, what are we, what are we supposed to be doing? I don't, I don't know what we're doing, but that's okay. 
Whatever we're doing, we're doing it, a lot of it. The pub always amazed me. Magically bridging the gap to its distant realms. <laughs> Alright. So we're back to here. Okay. So... Can we open this now, or...? The pipe leading into the mountain there. Right? I mean... I don't, was there... Was there, like, a different... Was there a different way to go? I, don't, I actually don't know. Maybe I picked the only pod that was just back this way, so it was blue, right? Uh, so we can't choose a different destination. Fine. We'll just go back to the swan, I guess. Because that's how we be doing it. It's fine. It's fine. I just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And I guess that's a good thing. I mean, the, the game is doing a good job of cultivating this air of mystery. Okay. So... Where what are we before we were awakened? We were not allowed to ask. What about this one? Oop. So we'll open that and see where it goes. Does it take us somewhere different? It does. Okay. So we're going to go somewhere different and see a new place. I'm ready. I am ready to go. So far, I am enjoying it. Like I said, it's a... It's a bit slow, but... It is doing a good job of cultivating that sort of air of mystery, you know? it's It's got a good vibe to it. And I like the voice acting. I'm a big fan of voice acting. You guys know that. The uh, the voice actress is really good. The only the only disconnect there was the uh, the lip syncing with the with the character, but that's okay. Oh. Welcome to the Juston Realm. Be careful. Many were sent to deep sea before their time. Oh. Cool. Mm, sounds dangerous over there. I like the water. The water's cool. Okay. We're just sort of uh, exploring a little bit. How is it I could stare at this spire for my whole life and never wonder what was below? Because the facts of the story we were told comforted and constrained us. The spire is important. You will return here to completely wait in the embrace. Okay. So telling me to go underneath it if I can. So I need to power it up. Okay, can't reach either of those, of course. Um, all right, we're stuck there. Right, I mean, uh, I only solved one puzzle, but we are about a half hour in. So what I might do is we might go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Oh, first let's go over to this other part of the spire. I want to see what else is over here. I like all the uh, the grand architecture and stuff. It's very, yeah, that is a thing. Oh, this is where we this is where we came from. Okay, well, we may as well. 
Go down this other way, I guess. Uh, is this where we came from? I'm not so sure anymore. Ooh, that water looks weird. That's cool. Where are we going? I like this red water. That's cool. Ah, the mystery of this realm? I never understood it. Now. I don't, I don't know what I just did. Okay. So, we've got... Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a mirror puzzle. Okay. I understand. I understand. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go look at the description because, yeah, this is a mirror puzzle. And, I mean, I would solve it, but... I'm not going to right now, I might do it later. So let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. All right, Firmament is a new puzzle adventure game by the legendary game studio behind the best-selling games Mist and Riven. Featuring deep storytelling and world building, discover the story of the seemingly abandoned world as you explore and unlock the mysteries of three unique realms and beyond. Uh, developed by Cyan Worlds Inc, it currently has mixed reviews. It costs $44.99. Mm. Potentially, there there is a good ped, there is a good pedigree there. I guess um, those Mist and Riven are definitely uh, well known games. Uh, so, f yeah, featuring we already read that. Uh, explore the new explore the world featuring a unique steampunk aesthetic. Firmament invites you to explore the legendary deep world building Cyan Worlds is known for. Firmament is a fantastic visual feast with thrilling new sights to see around every corner. At the same time, the world of Firmament feels completely plausible, as though it were constructed with a bigger purpose in mind. A purpose you will be compelled to discover as you play. Solve the puzzles! You carry with you a device called an adjunct as you explore. The adjunct is your interface as you interact with various devices throughout the realms of the Firmament. Employing the adjunct to solve the puzzles you encounter will bring you ever closer to unlocking the secrets this place holds. Discover the story. You are not entirely alone in Firmament. In addition to the adjunct, you are joined by a mysterious apparition who has a story of her own to share with you. As you explore, you'll be introduced to three realms, each with secrets and mysteries to reveal. What purpose do the realms serve? Can the spirit who accompanies you be trusted? No, she, she straight up said she was going to lie to us. She said, I will lie to you. Are the realms of Firmament abandoned? What are these giant mysterious machines scattered throughout the world? What is their purpose and what part do you play in this grand mystery? Explore, discover, solve, and reveal the mystery for yourself by playing Firmament. Um, built for both VR and 2D displays, Firmament supports both 2D and VR play. The VR experience of Firmament includes both free roam and teleport modes and supports Valve Index HTCV, blah, 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 all those things. Additionally, Firmament includes many comfort level features for both new and experienced VR users, including the option to enable smooth or snap turning, quick travel upstairs and ladders, vertical height, quantization, and more. Alright, I was very close to giving this negative review, and I'm a diehard Cyan fan. I'm giving Firmament the softest of recommendations because, at the end of the day, it was enjoyable, and I fully so support Cyan as a developer. Anyone who's played a sign game knows that they don't make cash grabs. They're one of the few fully privately owned big ga big name game developers out there. Still self-publishing, and I have a ton of respect for that. This review is long because I'm passionate about this game. Having said that, this is a game that you want to love, but in its current state, it's really tough to do so. First, here's what the game nails. The environments are gorgeous. Yep, the environments are gorgeous. Sound design is excellent. I do like that. Um, and I actually really liked the puzzles. Nowhere near as difficult as Mist. Riven or Abduction, but it was pretty clear from trailers that it wasn't going to be. Uh, is marred by some big downsides. It's unbelievably buggy. Yeah, it was feeling a little bit buggy. The story gets there eventually, but rather than have the plot spread out across the game to intrigue and entice you, it's hours of nothingness with everything shoved in your face in the ending act. Really liked the plot and the ending, but in addition to the bugs, this gives the feeling of a game that being oddly rushed out despite, again, five years and 1.5 mil. Sure. On that note, recycled assets galore. The environments are great, but they are filled with the same props over and over. Yeah, I did run into that. Um, the last big one, and maybe the source of all the downsides, uh, downvotes VR. I totally get why Cyan loves VR. I own a headset, and I absolutely get the allure of VR promising a fully immersive world. But it's clear that the current state of the technology means you either need to make a game design 100% with only VR in mind, 
Or just ditch it and make a good traditional game. Yeah. Um, like many people looking to buy from him, I've been playing Cyan games since around 1993. <laughs> yep. Um, cool. Uh, people are writing really long reviews. They're really passionate about this. I think the devs were quite rushed for the release date, even though it was five years without enough tests for VR. Right, so lots of people complaining about the VR. Enjoying myself so far. Played in VR, making my GPU cry. Ran into some bugs that were mentioned already. Ready, the main menu laser mis missing, and one instance of fog being weird. Sure, certainly not among science best works, but it's the most visionary of them, and it links perfectly into their kind of creative imagination. The puzzles have a real mechanical grandiosity to them. It feels like you're moving mountains around and redesigning the world around you. Having that much power at the tip of your fingers feels fantastic throughout the game. Cool. Don't like writing negative reviews for games that I want to like, but I feel like enough missed the mark with this experience it is worth writing about. For reference, I've been playing... Yeah, everyone's always uh, referencing I've been playing since they've been around. Um, wait till this is on sale. If you're just a little, uh, puzzle game fan, I don't recommend Firmament. The puzzles are rarely fun or challenging and tend to be tedious and uninspired. There are very few in-universe real uh, readables to help flesh this world out. This is a very little to flesh the world out at all. The environments are all different but share similar to-dos, so it gets old very quickly. Okay. Um, played quite a bit now and must say this game is just horrible. After abduction and its traversal, puzzle shenanigans, I was not uh, expecting this game to be practically only traversal puzzles, and my, are they awful. Uh, there are not really any puzzles, just figuring out traversal puzzles that leave you thinking. Yeah, like how to get how to get from here to there. Oh, do I have to do that? Bit of a bother. Yes, you do. Have I got it stuck? Yes, you did. Do I need to use the reset function? I, I, yes again. World looks nice, but seems a little bland with uninteresting gameplay. Probably not helped due to its early VR focus. Um, at a certain point in the ice level, you are asked to play a crane operator. It's not a puzzle. You're just stuck operating a slow crane in a confined space. It's like trying to turn a car around in a narrow alley. <laughs> cool. Mixed positive reviews. So even the positive reviews are, uh, you know, half and half. Um, the good, the music's awesome, as is used for a sign, but it hurts me to say there's nothing else I love about this game. Right. Can't recommend Firmament in its current state. There are some performance stability issues, but not enough for me to recommend the game. Instead, this rating is due to at least one progression blocking bug. Right. Um, love feeling like they were back in Mist and Riven. If you're looking for an in-depth puzzle game, this isn't it. Um, okay, I was very excited as I heard that Cyan was focusing on making entirely VR game. Quite disappointed. The possibilities in VR have not been used sufficiently, and there are also graphical bugs. bugs. Yeah, lots of bugs. The story's pretty boring. Visuals are stunning, the story is very good, as I would expect from a Cyan game. However, I do have mixed feelings about the puzzles being easier than I would expect from a Cyan game. While on the other hand, I think it helps players, from my personal preference, I really enjoyed the harder Cyan puzzles, such as the ones that were in Abduction and the Mist series. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Here's their, here's their full uh, catalog, Mist and uh, Masterpiece Edition and... Um, Mist 5, I guess. It jumps straight from Mist to Mist 5. And there's Riven, um, the sequel to Mist. Uru, Complete Chronicles. Yeah, people really do, people really do like the Cyan games. Um, so, I don't know, if you're into Cyan games, if you're into this style, definitely worth checking out. Um, it does have a very grand feel about it. I really like the environments. They're very, very pretty. Um, I can imagine that this is pro probably quite fun to play in VR. Yeah. Um, yeah. The one of the one of the comments that really struck home with me is definitely um, the repetition of assets and the uninteractability of them. Um, I've played lots of games where there's lots of random things around and there's thought put into those, but this is like lots of like it's 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 pretty. But that's all there is. There's nothing. Um, there's nothing really beneath the surface. So, you know, seeing the same book lying on a table. I was like, the first time I saw the book, I was like, oh, that's a cool book. Um, I wish I could turn the page and see what else was on there. Um, and then I saw that same book on the same page, sitting on another table, and I'm like, oh, okay, now, now I'm bored. I am now no longer interested in uh, looking at what's on the tables or on the chalkboards or whatever, because obviously, there hasn't been thought put into that. They've put a lot of thought into what the game looks like. You know how pretty it is. 
um, but not that much thought other than that. But, like I said, I do like it. Um, and if you're into Mist, if you're into Abduction, if you're into Riven, uh, then it's more of that. So, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. That's for a moment. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Check out from by clicking on the link down below in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.